Well, hey everybody, my name is Matt Kluskowski. I wanna welcome you to another episode of Your Photo Hour Look where I take your photos and I edit them. Just using my style, apps, whatever happens to be for that photo. Um, pretty quick and, and simple. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I get a lot of questions on how to submit photos for this. So uh, the idea behind this is, is if you're an On One Plus member, you can go into the On One Plus member website. Uh, there's submission guidelines. In fact, I'll, I'll show you the website here. You log into your On One Plus account and you'll see there was a post there and uh, it's got all types of information on how to go ahead and submit your photos. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna work some of these photos inside of uh, enhance, and then there's a couple of them I'm gonna do inside of Lightroom. I'll kind of explain to you when I use one versus the other. All right, so the first one here, we can we can do everything we need for this photo inside of On One. So I'll go into Enhance here. I'm gonna edit a, uh, a copy of it just so we have um, a copy next to the original and we can see where we came from. A couple things I'll do to this is probably brighten it a little bit. Uh, maybe go down here, do a little bit of whites and blacks. You can always go to your histogram panel and just kind of make sure like I don't have a big peak going up here where I'm blowing up my highlights. Uh, same thing on the blacks, edit that. Detail, uh, a lot of people ask, you know, where do I do my sharpening? Uh, a lot of times I'll just come down here. If I'm inside of Enhance, do the sharpening inside of Enhance. Um, if I'm not inside of Enhance, if I'm in Lightroom, I do the sharpening inside of Lightroom. If I'm in Effects and there's a sharpening filter there, I'll use that. I, I really, I'm not too particular about where I do the sharpening, wherever it happens to fit in your workflow is just fine, okay? So that's gonna be our, our basic changes here. I don't really have to do too much to this one. I think I'll warm it up a little bit, but to me, this one's really gonna be a lot about the effects that we can add to it. Cause I think it's, it's an overall nice photo. Um, I love the composition, like how we got a strong point over here and then down here in the, the lower third, we got that little waterfall kind of leading, uh, leading out of the photo. So let's just go into effects and finish it off. It's really gonna be a, a pretty quick and easy one. The, the filter that I'm gonna use is a preset. We're gonna go into the landscape presets here and I'm gonna use Golden Glow Sunshine, all right? If you wanna see the presets a little bit bigger, just click that icon right up here at the top. That'll show you the presets larger here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that preset. It's gonna add a nice glow to the photo, gives a nice warm feeling to the photo. So we'll stick with that. Uh, you could see all of the settings that go inside of that preset below. Not too much that I'm gonna do. I might pull the glow amount down just a little bit, uh, but not too much here. So that's looking good. Let's go back over to our filters and I'm gonna add an adjustable gradient to this one here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the adjustable gradient and I'm gonna use lighten. And then what I wanna do here is I'm gonna take this gradient, I'm gonna position it up and kind of off and then spread it out. All right, what I'm trying to do is just bring a little bit of sunlight in. You could see the sun's trying to peek through over there. Uh, so I'm just trying to enhance that a little bit. We'll warm it up. And I might not bring so much brightness here, so we'll tone that down a little bit. But we're just able to kind of add a little bit of brightness. And if I turn that filter on and off, you can see that was before, that was after, okay? All right, let's add one more filter and we'll go to the vignette. All right, I happen to have a favorite that I use and that is under the preset, it's called Big Softy. So that's a nice big soft vignette around the outer edges here and I think that looks really good. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of finish it off there. There's not too much more that I have to do. If I hit the backslash key, that's before, that's after. If I did anything, I might come down here to uh, maybe the sunshine filter and just click on that one and maybe just warm things up a little bit more than I had before. I think, I think we can get away with a lot of warming um, in this photo. It's just got a very warm feel to it, all right? Uh, I am gonna go back into Enhance here because there's something that I didn't do when I was in there before and it doesn't matter that I, I didn't do it before. Um, it's not gonna hurt me for doing it now, but that is, there's a lot of these little bright spots that are up here in the trees and we wanna try to tone those down a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of paint over. I'm not gonna go crazy and try to get rid of all of them, but. Um, just kind of paint over some of the areas here, some of the areas there, and some of the stuff that we have here, okay? So that, that to me just kind of helps pull some of the, 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 the brightness away from those hot spots. Um, they, they get really distracting. So we want to try to avoid that as much as we can, okay? So at this point, I'll just hit save, 
and uh, that'll take us back into our browse module. So you can see that was our before photo over here and uh, here was our after photo, okay? Got a concert shot, love this shot. Love, uh, love a lot of things about it. I'll go into enhance first. And um, you know, if I did anything, I might crop it a little bit, but I just, you know, I, I, I like the color. I love the expression of the singer. And that's really what I wanna focus in on. That's why I'm cropping this. We'll leave the guitar player back there but I really, I want this singer to be, to be the, the big part of the photo here. So that's why I cropped in on it. Um, not too much I have to do here. I might open up the exposure a little bit. We're not gonna do anything with color. We'll go down here to our sharpening and uh, I, can, I can probably get away with quite a bit of sharpening in on that photo here. There's a lot of grit and detail we can use, but for me, this is really gonna be about effects, all right? So we're gonna start off under the preset section and uh, there's two areas. I think the hipster area is gonna look really cool. Um, so Avril, uh, I think that's a cool one if you like the, the light leak effect that we have here. Um, I really like Brandon on this one. I like that second preset. I love the color toning. You can see that's before and that's after. So I really like that preset. But if you go down here, you'll see there's all kinds of presets down here that look really cool on this photo. Um, I mean, it's, it's almost hard to even choose one because I think there's a lot of neat stuff in here. So you can, you can go crazy with the colors, especially with a concert photo. I think it looks good. Um, also, you'll notice that that preset does affect her skin tone. If you go into the color grading presets, uh, you can get a color tinted photo. Uh, cool or blue red is a good one here. You can see that's before, it's after. Adds a little bit of blue, a little bit of red. Bronze Portraits is pretty cool too, but you'll see it kind of maintains the skin tone, especially with this blue-red one. You can see our skin tone kind of stays the same, all right? Just add some color to it. So there's a lot of things you can do with that one as well. I'm gonna go, you know what, I gotta go back. I'm going back to Hipster and I'm going with the, the first one that I had here, which was Brandon, okay? Not even anything else, I'm not even gonna add a vignette. I think this looks good as is. I'll just hit save and uh, come back. So you can see that was our before photo right here. And there was our after photo. All right, cool shot. Next up, next two, I'm gonna work inside of Lightroom. So let's go jump over into Lightroom. And, um, and the first, so reason being, I'll go, kind of go into the reason in, in one second. So cool photo, I'm gonna crop it. Um, I think, you know, so totally blown, blown out, right? I mean, just, you know, the sun got a, uh, got a lot of sun flare. I mean, the sun is basically hitting the lens. That's why it's all washed out like this. Um, to me, this is worth saving. I love the expression on her face. I love the light. I love the edge light that's separating them back here. I kind of wish the girl back here wasn't here. Um, but besides that, I just, there, there's so many things I love about the expression in this photo. So I want to save it. Um, on one has haze reduction presets and effects. The thing is, is they're really, they're really kind of meant for reducing haze, um, haze. You know, so in my landscape photos, you know, as it gets hazy in the background and you lose some detail, it really brings out that detail, reduces the haze. To me, this isn't really haze, but this is more flare. You know, this is the sun directly into the lens. Um, but what I found is in Lightroom, the dehaze slider worked awesome, okay? So, so I'm gonna use the dehaze slider. The other advantage of, of what I can do here is um, there's not even that much more that I need to do to the photo as far as what I do inside of Lightroom, but I do like to play around um, a little bit with some of that, that lighting that I showed you before where I was able to kind of bring a little bit of sunlight in. So I'd wanna do the same thing here. What happens is, is, is I'll usually add that and then I'll wanna come back and maybe tweak some of the exposure settings because as you add that, sometimes you decide you, there's something else you wanna do. Um, I can't, you know, with effects and enhance, you're gonna be adding your gradients and your adjustments and then you're gonna be adjusting your exposure. So it's two different modules. Um, so that's why if I'm gonna use that kind of stuff, I'm gonna generally do it over here in Lightroom. Um, all right, so that's looking pretty good. I might even pull back on our dehaze a little bit, just a hair. So let's go jump into on one and finish it off. We'll go into effects. And the main thing I'm gonna do here is work with what we have, which is sunshine. So I'm gonna to go to the sunshine filter. And, uh, and you can see, uh, if I go over here to the filters, you can actually see that um, when I click on sunshine, let's go down here to it. You can even see a lot of the presets that go with it. Um, 
you know, where do I want it? I kind of like the default. I might warm it up a little bit, but I just, I love, I want to enhance, and that's why that sunshine comes in really handy is because I want to enhance that, that glow, sunny, warm feeling of this photo. I think it looks great. And then we'll just finish this up with a vignette, and I think we'll go with the tried and true. Big softy, maybe reduce the opacity 70, 80% here. That's before, that's after. Looks good to me, let's hit apply. Takes us back over to Lightroom, so let's go to the before photo. I'm gonna hit reset, and then uh, we'll come back over here to the after photo. So there's our after, so take a look here. That's before, that's after. All right, pretty cool stuff. If I were to do anything else, I might recrop this and try to get rid of that hot spot. <laughs> that little bright areas of white sky back in the upper corner there. Okay, all right, let's take a look at, uh, at this little guy here. So uh, another cool photo. And the uh, reason I'm gonna do this in Lightroom, first off, I'm just gonna crop in on this one here and try to get rid of that little branch on the bottom. Um, reason why I wanna do this in Lightroom is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a lot of gradient and adjustments um, and exposure. So I would normally do whites and blacks, you know, option or alt click, you can set your white point, option or alt click, you can set your black point. So I'd normally do that, maybe a little bit of warmth onto the photo here. Uh, but then I want to come in with the brush and kind of tone down the ground here. All right. You ever watch TV and movies, you notice that the ground's always wet and that's because it, it brings down the exposure and we need to do that here. So I'm just gonna, I'm being really sloppy with it. Normally you'd probably try to do a, a lot better job than I'm doing, but. All right, so just toning that down a little bit and now I can control it. But the nice part about it is, and I can even add a little bit of clarity that'll kind of give a little grit to it. Nice part about it is I can come back over here and I can kind of finesse, all right? I can finesse my, my exposure, uh, my whites and my blacks and my contrast. And then if I need to, which I often do, I'll be able to come back up to this brush and still adjust it. And, and that's without switching apps. And that's the main reason why I did that, okay? Um, looking good. I might even try that trick again. I mean, I know I've used it a couple times here, but with the graduated filter, bring in, you can tell it's the light's coming in from this side. Add a little bit of warmth. Just kind of looks like there's just a sun glow, if you will. Move it around a little bit. Okay, that's looking good. Let's take it into on one to finish it off. So go into effects. Uh, again, I probably would have sharpened inside of Lightroom because I was in Lightroom first, but uh, you'll see that we can go ahead and do that inside here if we want to. So I can just go to the filters and uh, I can add a sharpening filter. All right, I'm not a big stickler on this stuff. Fixed focus is a good one. I'm just gonna add a good amount of sharpening to it, so probably even pull down the amount slider a little bit. A lot of times also when I sharpen, if you have a blurry background, I'll start to paint it away from the background, okay? We don't wanna sharpen the background. We paid a lot of money for a lens to make that background blurry. You don't wanna make it more contrasty and draw attention. So just grab your masking brush and you can paint away. Let's go add another filter here and I'll go to, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but I like sunshine for this one. I'm gonna go with sun glow. That's cool, you know what? I am gonna go somewhere else. I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna to go to my presets. I'm gonna to go to that hipster category and I'm gonna go down here. There's one called Soho. I think Soho is gonna give us a little bit of that glow, a little bit of color saturation and a little bit of texture. And I think that works here. All right, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take my masking brush and I'm gonna paint the texture off of him. All right, I don't want him, especially his face, to have that textured look. So I'm gonna paint it off of him, but I do like that texture that we get in the background there. And I'm not even gonna add it, oh, all right, I'll add a vignette, yeah, maybe. Um, so I'll go to the vignette here. Main reason I'm gonna add the vignette is just to show you, I would probably use just a subtle vignette because I think it already darkened the edges here. But what I will do is take our little center point, make sure I just kind of pop it over here so that the vignette's not in the, affecting the center, which is gonna darken him. And that way he's gonna have almost a little spotlight on him. Okay, so that's before, that's after. We'll hit apply to go back to Lightroom. And now we can see, let's go take a look. I'll hit reset on our before photo here. So 
That's our before photo. And, uh, and there is our after photo, okay? I'm gonna do one last quick one here. This one's not gonna take a lot of time. Um, so I saw this photo, architecture. It just kinda, it spoke to me as black and white. And not many, not many photos speak to me as black and white. But we don't have, to me, there, there's, not a, there's not great color. It's got a very abstract feel to it. So we don't have a lot of intriguing color. To me, a lot of this is about form and light which is really why I thought about black and white, because that, that to me is, is, is where, where photos tend to do well for black and white. So I'm gonna scroll down here, just take a look at some of the uh, presets that we have in there. In fact, I'm gonna go into the presets section and go to the black and white one. You'll see there's a lot. I'm gonna go with Bogart Warm, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is, this is gonna be contrasty as heck, because what I want from this is I wanna bring out the light. Uh, I'm actually gonna switch this too. I'm gonna switch to Bogart Cool. I didn't like the warm, I didn't, I didn't want that muddy color on, uh, on all the, the, the white there. That's why I chose that. I'm gonna bring the brightness down, um, crank up my white, but I want a ton, I want a lot of detail here and I want a ton of contrast. So I'm gonna really crank up the contrast settings on this and, uh, and probably even come down here and go down to my vignette and uh, I'm gonna strengthen the vignette too. Okay, because what I'm looking for from this is ultra, that's even kind of cool as color. You can almost leave that as color there. But to me, what spoke to me about it, again, was the form and the light that we have here, that light that's coming in. Um, that that kind of grabs me when I see black and white photos. And that's generally what I'm going to look for if I ever do convert to black and white. So you can see that's before, that's after. And I think it just made a nice black and white photo. So that, uh, that pretty much wraps up this episode. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Um, if you're an On One Plus member, you can jump on the website, you can submit photos, and uh, we'll get to them there. And, uh, and if you're not an On One Plus member, I hope you'll check it out. You can check it out over at onone.com slash plus. My name is Matt Kloskowski. Thanks for watching, and uh, talk to you again soon.